I start my mornings with a strong cup of coffee because you really need one <laughs> when you're doing engineering you'll need a cup of coffee in the morning on this particular morning I had a presentation in the afternoon so that is what I woke up and started going through I'm just thanking God for YouTube because YouTube is very very resourceful even when I'm studying and doing my research online because it's always just so easy to consume the content when it's in the form of a video you know studying is always 10 times more fun when i'm using youtube like oh my god so um i did my studies for a while about two hours and then yeah just took my bag off and left to go start the day this is at around 9 a.m Today I want to take you guys around with me and show you guys what a typical electrical engineering student's day looks like. Also, I'm wearing a dress which is a very rare phenomenon. We don't, I don't always go to class looking like this. But today we have a presentation in the afternoon so it's common practice to like look good when you're doing a presentation so that's why this is my OOTD and yeah let's go guys the lecturers cancelled all their lessons on this day so I ended up just discussing with a pal of mine at the halls halls of residence I didn't record that obviously Now this is where we usually have most of our classes. I want to see I want to see if we if there's an empty room I show you some of our labs. This right here is what our typical classroom setting looks like. We have machines at the back for days where we are doing the labs and the blackboard at the front for when it's just a regular class. Because we didn't have lessons and I could not record my study sessions throughout the vlog i thought let me show you guys how our workshops look like uh, most of our labs are closed they're usually closed by 4 pm but right now i'm heading to the engineering workshop it's right there there yeah i really don't remember much what we did to be honest because that was four years ago i'm in my fifth year now but i can show you guys some of the machines that we used then um you guys i haven't told you like the presentation bounced <laughs> and my whole outfit is wasted it happens a lot here in jay quite like lecturers just decide to disappear whenever not that it's a bad thing it's actually a good thing because i ended up having a free day and managed to study for my friday cut i have a cut on friday so let me show you guys some of the machines in there this is more of a mechanical engineering workshop so us electrical engineers are never we never come here much like it's just the first year and we are done these are like small substations like we can have a student here another student here and two more there usually this is a um i think this i don't remember what this this was called to be honest i'd be lying this is the sheet bender it is used to bend iron sheet into desired forms. <laughs> we didn't use that though. That's why I probably don't remember. Oh, now I see what we used. We used these ones. Uh, I think to make screws. It's a drill. This is a drilling machine. And yeah, basically, I feel like this is more relatable to mechanical engineering students rather than electrical. So yeah, let me check out another workshop. I mean, the second workshop that we visited in first year, and this is called the machine shop. And it's, uh, I think it's the biggest workshop we have in JQuad as far as mechanical and electrical engineering is concerned, because 
I don't know much about civil though. This one, uh, this is the lathe machine, you guys, and this is where we used to, um, <laughs> we did a lot of stuff, and hey, <sighs> this whole row just contains the lathe machines all the way. Triple E, that is electrical and electronic engineering. In Triple E, we are not too hands on as people might think. Uh, when it comes to machines and all that hardware stuff that we leave for civil engineers and mechanical engineers. As guys, I would have shown you what we actually deal with, but the our our labs are still closed. I think I might remake such a vlog somewhere in, sometime in the future when I, when I have the time and when the labs are actually open, but I hope this vlog gives you a rough idea of what we actually go through because in first year we have two semesters. In first year, first semester, we were on the other workshop, the first one I've shown you. And in the second year, in the second semester, we come to this workshop. This is all there is in the workshop department. And I don't need to show you guys the other workshops because that's not the engineering that I do. I am an electrical engineering student uh oh my god my hand is sad i think instead of going home uh let me show you guys something very special i want to go get my supper at the school's mess and show you guys how exactly it feels like to eat at the school's mess um, most students don't usually prefer to eat at the school's mess. They prefer to go outside and eat at the local vibandas outside there because they are... People claim that mess food is not sweet, that it's tasteless, <laughs> which I don't disagree with. But for the price, they usually have a very, very affordable price. So right now I'm heading to the school mess. I want to show you guys how... I want to give you guys that experience. So yeah, let's go, let's go. Cause I just wanna let you know African beauty. African beauty. Let's go vlog. Oh, about? Eh? About? Jay Quat. Oh, so you're just recording for other movie ways? Eh, yeah, this is the part where I go to the mess. Oh. Yeah. So you're a vlogger? Yeah. You write about, still me your name. So I had my supper with a pal of mine and we got on to like some little bit of catching up and a bit of gossip, you know, what girls do. And yeah, the food is actually really incredible for the amount that we pay for for it, you know. Like, where else would you get an omelette, beans and rice all on the same plate for 37 shillings? Come on, man. I feel like the test can be overlooked when you consider the really affordable cost. Though, the food almost always tastes as if it's just boiled. Nothing fancy. This is the food. This is how the food looks like. I'm with my friend. She doesn't want to appear on the vlog. <laughs> but yeah, this is what you get for 37 shillings here yeah, at mess. Um, I ordered for an omelette, but they didn't have omelette. They've given me a boiled egg that I'm not going to eat. I'm actually done with the food. Yep. <sighs> I've just remembered that I didn't end the vlog. <sighs> darkness, darkness. This is actually the latest vlog. Yeah, I'm heading back to my place now. And... Uh, <laughs> I know this vlog has been super scanty, 
but um i'll make sure i do a better one next time and if you like such content oh my god you guys can't see me if you like such such content subscribe